guys, it's Donna and my daughter, Lily. And today we're sharing with you our Dollar Snack Club. So, <laughs> we've been doing Universal Yums unboxings for almost a year now, and this came up on my feed on either Instagram or Facebook or something, or maybe I saw it somewhere else, I don't know. But we thought we would give it a try. Um, this is actually healthier foods, which I love that idea of finding some new healthy mm -hmm. snacks that we can incorporate into our lives. Um, and this is by a company called Snack Nation. So this is all brand new to us and we thought we would share it with you guys so you can kind of see what it's all about. Um, Snack Nation has a whole variety of different snacks that you can also purchase on their website, but this is a dollar subscription club basically. And what that means is every month, the box is only a dollar, which is crazy. You do have to pay $3.99 in shipping, so a total of $4.99. You get six snacks to try, mm -hmm. and then you have to go in before the end of the month and do a little survey they said um, as far as what you thought about the snacks if you don't do the survey the dollar turns into $9.99 so you definitely <laughs> want to do the survey so you don't spend tons of money on this um, but for six snacks for five dollars I think that's a really great deal um, they are healthier foods so I'm not quite sure how the tastes are gonna go because we're used to super sugary and salty sweet snacks um, but we're gonna give it a try yeah. so they're a really great company that likes to give back to their community and um, they've partnered with Feeding America um, and for the bigger crazy or the different mm -hmm. snacks that you purchase they also give meals towards the Feeding America the other thing I noticed yeah. um, when I got my box is that the return address in case your address is bogus um, it goes to New York City's food bank so I thought that was really cool so they don't even awesome. get the boxes back let's say somebody's moved and their address is wrong it goes straight back to the New York City food bank so I thought that was really a great idea for them to do it's awesome um, but you don't waste food because yeah, they can't exactly. give it to someone else because right. they don't know what you did with the box right right so it gets returned straight over there to the food bank. So I thought that was really cool. So we're just gonna dive on in and yeah. share with you guys what they sent us because we have no clue what they're doing here. So <laughs> well, I'm kind of excited. Yeah, I'm ready to try something different. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the Universal Yums. If you haven't seen those videos, mm -hmm. I'll make sure I leave some links throughout here. Um, and also, <laughs> in, yeah, exactly, in below, I'll leave the playlist um, so you can see that in the description. All right, so let's see what's in there. Whoa. Uh, very cool. So, you want me to read it? Yeah, what's it say? So it says, thank you for snacking consciously okay. and sharing the love. We donate to Feeding America for every box you enjoy as a Snack Nation member. Very cool. That's awesome. Um, so the <laughs> subscription does renew every month, but you can go in and cancel if you don't like it. Um, so you're not like stuck with it. Yeah. Uh, and then this is just reminding you, you have to rate your snacks, complete your survey by the 25th and save $5 on next month's box. So, oh, cool. I don't know what that means. So the box was only... So there is something different. They don't have a pamphlet describing each snack like Universal Yums. Nope. So it's just, just in here. Yeah, just random. Just comparing them. Just, yeah. So here are the snacks that they Ooh. have sent to us. They said sometimes there can be bars and fruit snacks and chips and who knows. So I'm not even sure which one you want to pick first, Lily. Um, I kind of want to go for like the chips first. Okay, that's fine. Because it seems like like the biggest so, kind of one. Yeah. What are they called? They are called Bean Teeth. Bean toes? Benitos. Super powerful beans. Hint of lime. Okay. Let's give them a shot. Farm to bag. Okay. Says, White bean chips. Yeah. Five grams of protein. Four grams of fiber. So, okay. There's a whole bunch of different. Oh, yeah. Non-GMO, non-preservatives, mm -hmm. antioxidants. So, get you. so basically, Some if you like tortilla chips and you like lime, this may be the snack for you. Yeah. It's a healthy version. <laughs> Smells like chips. <laughs> it smells like if you were opening a bag of tortilla chips. Like there's uh -huh. nothing different. Oh, ah! Give you a <laughs> so this is what they look like. They almost like I don't know if you guys can see it, but they have like it looks like a green like seasoning on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's different. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Okay. Limey. Very limey. Really good though. It's not bad though. No. <laughs> it's actually really good. It's the same texture as a tortilla chip. And it really has a lot of salt and lime. <laughs> so if you're, I'm not even a lime fan. Yeah. I'm not a lemon fan. It's actually really good though. They're really good. <laughs> okay. Thumbs up, Snack Nation. I like that one. Definitely. I like that one. Okay, that'll get job it up quick. Okay. Right, yeah, definitely. Up. Oh, do you want to move the chip? <laughs> okay, we're not going to eat that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you choose next, since hmm. I chose. 
Well, this Aloha bar is jumping out at me. This is an Aloha peanut butter and chocolate chip bar. Ooh, that sounds really good. Um, Plant-based protein, non-GMO, organic protein bar, 14 grams of protein. Whoa. Wow. Um, yeah, it's organic, gluten-free, <laughs> soy-free, dairy-free, plant-based, so all good stuff. And I love chocolate and peanut butter. I don't so normally good. like protein bars, so... I'm kind of curious. Like. They're just thick. I mean, because they are a lot of protein. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells really good. Oh my gosh, it smells like peanut butter. Chocolate and peanut butter. It yeah. smells really good. Yeah. Okay, it's a good little look there. It's like fudgy. That's awesome. That looks really good. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah. That's good. When you first bite into it, the texture is kind of like a little like off, like kind of weird at first, but it's actually really good. No, I could eat this. Like, I definitely think I could eat the whole thing. I don't know if you can use this as a meal replacement. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can even see the chips in there. It, it is a meal replacement. That'd be like a good like on-the-go snack. If you're mm -hmm. like going like hiking or something mm -hmm. like that, that'd be a very good like on-the-go snack. Yeah. No, I like, like that a lot. <laughs> Aloha for the win. All right, two. Okay. What would you like to pick, Lily? Let's go for, I want to see what the huge, I'm going for the big stuff. <laughs> I'm wondering what this huge bag at the bottom is. So this is, Real dried aloe vera plus mango fruit. Like I didn't mango? even know you could eat aloe vera. <laughs> so this is the first. <laughs> so it says it's by Aloe Snacks. Real fruit, naturally gluten-free. <laughs> yeah, aloe. Uh, Non-GMO. The untypical snack for the untypical life. Didn't even know you could eat aloe vera, to be honest. I just yeah, thought it was for something. I really <laughs> love um, mango, though. So we are going to. Well, this is the first. Oh, I like this bag too because it's got a built-in zipper closure. Oh, so you can, so you can like can save reseal it. Reseal it. Yeah, Ooh. I love those kind of bags. Okay, there's two different kinds in here, Louise. So you can... Oh, they're like. Oh, it's both mango and aloe vera mm -hmm. separately. Yeah, they're dried fruit. Do you want to try one at a time? Yeah, I guess so. Let's do. Okay, I'm really curious. All right, let's do the aloe, and we can Wait. follow up with the mango. I think. All right, so let's try the air aloe vera. Let's see. A little more aloe vera. <laughs> good. It's like really good. It's refreshing. Uh huh. Is that the word? It like melts in your mouth. I can't even compare it to anything. A sweet. Mhm. Mm that's like really good. Oh my gosh, that's really good. I was not expecting to like this box, really. Because I am not a health food fan. When we normally, like, we, we're like, we have, like, those days where we're like, oh, yeah, let's try and be healthy. And then, like, we order the healthy food, and we absolutely hate it. Wow. Dude, this is, like, really, okay, wait. All right, so now we got to do mango. Let's try Oh, it's a little chewier. That's good. This is orangier than mine. Mm -hmm. Or, like, lighter colored than mine. Maybe it's mm, interesting. I know. Mm. It's like they put a glaze on top of it, is what it tastes like. Especially the aloe vera, too. Like a sugary uh -huh. glaze. But it's healthy for you. Yeah, it only has dried mango, dried aloe vera, cane sugar, um, glycerol, citric acid, and sulfur dioxide as preservatives. Silly ingredients. Like, I really like that I can pronounce all the ingredients. That's, um, yes, that's normally a good sign that it is healthy is because you can pronounce all of the words on it yeah. and it's not these crazy chemicals. It does have a lot of sugars. <laughs> it's got 25 grams of sugar um, for half the bag, though. So, if you were to... That's what the glaze was on top of it. Is it really we're good? We're going to fight over that later. We yeah. know that one now. They're really good. Okay. So we, now, what I don't fight. know, and maybe if you've done these before or if you've used Snack Nation, I would love to know. Couldn't find it online. Can I go buy these somewhere? Yeah. Now, I know they offer other snack packages, but whether you can customize and pick what snacks you want to buy, kind of hoping you can, or maybe I can go on Amazon and buy them. I don't know if these are readily available or are these pre-market? Yeah. I thought, well, maybe that's why you have to do the survey mm -hmm. is so that you can tell them whether you liked it and they're just doing like a pre-market before they submit it out to the public, um, which is kind of a bummer because if we like something, yeah. I really want to buy it again maybe, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you know more about this, please, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. And also, I feel like this whole box, we're going to be comparing it to Universal Yums because it's the only other snack box we've done. Like, Universal yeah. Yums, they have their whole, like, online shop and stuff. And yeah, so. well, that's pretty new to them, though. Yes. Yeah. So, got these oat grams. Yeah, I was just going to say that. So these are Naren's Gluten-Free Oat Grams Original. 
I don't know. These sound kind of boring. They do. They sound like, it sounds like a, like a basic cracker. That's what it sounds yeah. like. Gluten-free, whole grains, no artificial colors. Flavors are preservatives. 45 calories per gram. There's two grams in here. Oh, I thought there was more than that. Okay, dedicated gluten-free bakery. Suitable for vegans. All sounds good. Oh, no, there's four in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like a wheat we cracker. We can't like them all, Lily. I know, I know. There I hope we do. Some. But it looks like a wheat cracker. It smells really nice. What does that smell like? Graham cracker? So I hope that makes up for or it. Or smell like, not these. I'm going to put my nose all over it. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm, <laughs> good texture. I've had this before. These remind me of those baked breakfast bar thingies. Who makes those? <gasps> yes, 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 yes. I can't remember who makes them though. That's what these taste like. And they're really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm surprised. They're really good. Maybe this is like the healthier version. Oh, there you go. If I can figure out what they are, I'll put the name up on the I know phone. exactly what they taste like. Mm -hmm. I just can't think of the name. Yes. Okay, they're good. <laughs> and they come in like different flavors and stuff, like the apple and the cinnamon and. Mhm. Mm yep. That's what it tastes like. It smells like. Yeah. <laughs> I keep smelling it on my nose. Okay. Okay. No good. Did you finish yours? Uh huh. I ate all of mine. Okay. <laughs> all right. Two more left. What you picking, Lily? So I'm gonna go because this looks the most interesting. <laughs> I, it's I'm Crunchsters barbecue, and I'm not sure what it is. Mighty Mung Bean. That's what it says. Made with the Mighty Mung Bean. What's a Mung Bean? Five grams of fiber, vegan, gluten-free, seven grams protein, non-GMO, nut-free, sprouted protein snacks. So this is a good alternative to a little, like if you like nuts, maybe this is a good alternative or you can't have nuts. I've never had one of these. I don't know about so. the barbecue flavor. That's the only thing I'm really confused mm, about. I don't like the smell. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. Smell is not very appetizing, mm, but. Mm, oh, they're there's like a couple different colors. Dream, okay, wait, this is going to be impossible to show. Oh, no, the different colors are the shell of it, I think. Oh, yeah. Whatever the mung So bean. it's just this. <laughs> and then it has dried up green mm -hmm. like leaves that it comes like here's one that's actually attached that? yeah, I'm sure can. <laughs> this one's attached to it, it like, i said we just pop them I all i don't even out. know how you can see that but i think we just go like this because okay. we can't get much out of one you know what i mean that's it. Ah. oh that has a kick tastes like barbecue chips it does I don't know if I'm a fan. No. Yeah. That one's weird. <laughs> tastes like sausage. It does taste like sausage. That's weird. It tastes just like sausage. No, you said that. Okay, I probably wouldn't go to that one again. But I mean, it's good. It's not bad. I'm gonna like try a little bit more. Like I'm kind of confused <laughs> on what this tastes like. I'm not a big barbecue flavored things though. Mm -mm. So that's not my go-to. But they're good. I mean, yeah. But they do kind of have a meaty taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's odd. But we're kind of used to that with the yeah. universal yellows. <laughs> we're used to odd flavors. Yeah. Yeah. And the last thing is, I'm a little hesitant on this one, especially for Lily, but it's called Hemp Yeah. And this is dark chocolate almond sea salt. Uh, 10 grams plant protein. Manitoba harvest. I need to check the ingredients on this one. That's a lot of calories. 230 calories. I guess if it's a meal replacement, maybe. Shelled hemp seeds. What's that? I don't know if I can let Lily eat this. Why? Lily, hemp is marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mommy will taste this one. Um, are they trying to pull us <laughs> <laughs> I guess they would. I mean, it doesn't say adults only, but still, I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'm not comfortable. I'll just, I'm just going <laughs> to uh, eat all the aloe vera. Um, fun. Okay. I will try this one, I guess. Oh, that was lonesome. I'm kind of curious because, like, the flavors sound really good. If you've good. had this before and you think Lily's allowed to have this, please let me know. But for now, for the viewers, we're not. The flavors <laughs> sound really good, too. It's like dark chocolate, almond. You see the chocolate on the back. That sounds really good. It smells really good, too. It's 
like it peeled off really nicely, so it's not hard. I'm just gonna be over it's here eating. Strong though. All right, let's see here. Sorry, Lola. Mm, you're not missing anything. <laughs> Weird texture because it has like crunchy seeds in it. Mm -mm. Nope, that's my least favorite, Lily. <laughs> you are not missing a thing. Nope, didn't like that. Okay, <laughs> so we saved the worst for last, apparently. <laughs> what was your favorite thing, Lily? Oh, uh, they were all really good. Look, I'm honestly very surprised on how good all of these were. Like, mm -hmm. you go first, because I'm deciding. Um, I liked the mango aloe vera. That was surprising mm -hmm. good. That was like the surprising mm -hmm. one, I think. That was the weirdest one, I'd and say. Then the, and then the Aloha bar. Mm -hmm. I really like that, because I think I could eat that as a replacement. And then the chips. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think, Lily? I think my favorite out of all of them was definitely the aloe vera and mango one. They were yeah, all really they good, were really though. They were really refreshing. I mean, so. except if one I couldn't try, that would be the worst. Yeah. But, yeah, I think the weirdest would be, like, the barbecue one. Because, yeah. like, that tasted like meat. The worst was the hemp, so you did not miss anything there. So, feel rest assured you didn't miss anything. <laughs> So overall, I really yeah. enjoyed this. So I think I'm gonna keep doing I'm these. Do this again. Yeah. What did you guys think? Is this something that you would try? Please leave a comment below, or if you have tried them before, and what your feedback <laughs> is on them. I'll leave the link as well if you're interested in signing up below. Um, there's no discount because how can you discount a dollar? <laughs> but, <laughs> but at least if you want to try it, I'll leave it easily in the comments on the in the description below. That's all we got for you guys today. Make sure you like the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you can see more just like this when they come out. All right, guys. Until next time. Happy snacking. Bye. Kyla, what do you think of that one? Good. Is that one good? Which one are you trying? The oat bar? Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, come, too. Come.